Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. In case you're new here, I just wanted to let you know that my entire family is currently on keto. So we have been coming up with some really good recipes and I wanted to share this one with you. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because we do tons of before and after pictures over there and we add to our story daily. Today's recipe is pepperoni pizza bites. Make sure you check the description box below because I'll have that entire recipe listed down there for your convenience. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go over the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. This is just the basic recipe for my pepperoni pizza bites. Now, with that being said, there's probably a million different variations, so this recipe never has to get old. But for the ones we're making today, let's discuss what you're gonna need. Cream cheese, coconut flour, baking powder, garlic, eggs, mozzarella cheese, and I'm using these little mini pepperonis, and these were picked up at Kroger but I know they have them available in several different brands. Okay, we are going to start off with four ounces of cream cheese and that needs to be softened. I usually set that out a couple of hours before I make this recipe, but if you want, you can also soften this up in the microwave for a few seconds. Just keep checking it every so often so it doesn't get hot. You just want it softened. Now, here is where your variations can start to come into play. My family loves pepperoni, so that's why I'm using a 3 4 cup container of the mini pepperonis. But if you wanted to use Italian sausage or hamburger meat or some other meat in this, you definitely could. Again, pepperoni is my family's choice. But if you went with a crumbled up meat, you would probably want to go with about a pound of that. Again, I'm adding three fourths of a cup of the mini pepperonis and now we're just gonna mix all this together. If you decide to use another meat, something that's uncooked like Italian sausage or hamburger meat even, you'll wanna cook that up on the skillet and make sure it is completely crumbled up into small chunks, also cooked thoroughly, and then you can add that to your cream cheese and mix. Now we're gonna add the remainder of our ingredients. Next is one third cup of coconut flour. Next is one half of a teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. We adore garlic. I know I've mentioned this a million times. If you don't wanna use garlic powder, you can use uh, minced garlic. I just keep garlic powder on hand more often, but either one would be fine. Next, we're going to add three eggs. Now we're going to be adding one and a fourth cups of cheese. This is mozzarella, but you can use different versions. You can add mozzarella, some Parmesan. I did have some Italian five cheese that I actually threw in here. 
but the majority of this is mozzarella. Now personally to all of my recipes, since I have been doing keto, I add a little bit of pink salt. Not too much on this one because it does have the pepperoni in it. But we do want some of the electrolytes and the sodium from this. So I just add it. That is definitely optional. Another optional seasoning that I did want to mention is Italian seasoning. My children are not fans though. But as an adult, I personally like it with some Italian seasoning. So I could make half and half a batch if I wanted to. This would be the time that you would divide that up. But today I'm just gonna completely leave out the Italian seasoning. So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this up really well and get all the ingredients incorporated. You know, you don't just have to make these pepperoni bites. If you have some leftover bacon, you could throw some crumbled up bacon in here. The options are limitless. I mean, there are so many things you can do with this. Right now, we're saving our bacon for bacon cheeseburgers in a bowl this week. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna make the pepperoni. Once you get this completely mixed up, you're gonna to want to chill this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. Alexa, set a 10 minute timer. 10 minutes, Turn While your mixture is chilling, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. You can see I'm meal prepping early. Preston's actually at our house taking a shower. He came to eat before he leaves to work. While your mixture is chilling for 10 minutes and your oven is preheating, go ahead and line your pans with parchment paper. Really quick tip, I pick this parchment paper up at Dollar Tree. You get 25 square feet and it is really good. It is one of my favorite parchment papers. Again, non-stick, oven safe, and it's a lot cheaper than if you picked it up anywhere else. Okay, once your mixture has chilled for 10 minutes, you're going to want to go ahead and stir that up and then you're going to make little bite-sized balls that go on here. Now, okay, if you've seen my sausage ball recipe, you don't want them that small in bite size, unless that's something that you like. I like to have mine just a little bigger than, you know, like a sausage ball, which is bite size. So this is somewhere between, oh, I don't know, a biscuit and a sausage ball. I'll show you when I put them on the tray. I try to make sure that I get a pepperoni, several pepperonis in like each one. And then I just lay them down. This is the messy part, of course. But my kids love bite-sized foods. It like makes their days. Even Preston, he, it just makes things easier for them, I guess. Just popping them in their mouth, not having to use forks. So we do make a lot of little bite-sized foods. You definitely want to get these all about the same size. That way they cook at the same rate and evenly, and they're going to all come out at the same time. That way you won't have some that are done, um, some that are still undercooked. Once I get my first pan rolled out, I'll go ahead and put them in. Alexa, set a 25 minute timer. 25 minutes, starting now. And then I go ahead and get the second cookie sheet ready. Can you hear my ice maker? I have the loudest ice maker, people. And it cannot keep up with us in the summer. It's the one thing I hate about my fridge. 
So I am seriously considering buying one of those ice makers that you just put on your countertop. If you guys have one of those and you have any good recommendations, let me know. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. Alexa, set a 25 minute timer. Second timer, 25 minutes, starting now. Quick tip, always check on them during the cooking process because depending on how big or small they are, they may get done faster. So we've got like 10 minutes left on this first batch and they're already starting to brown. So they may be in there just a little less than 25 minutes, but I'll check back on them in a second. Okay, here are what the pizza bites look like when they come out of the oven. I left mine in just a few minutes longer than I would normally like, but they are golden brown. And I like to brush melted garlic butter over top of these or have them melted in that. The kids also like to dip these into marinara, but these are a great alternative to regular pizza bites. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out some of my other keto recipes. I have an entire playlist for you guys. I'll see you in my next video, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye.